she is finally here 12 foot uh, root rake to go on the d3 i'm gonna pull it around here in a minute and see if i can get this thing squared up on it it's gonna be a job by myself i borrowed my brother's little or brother-in-law's avant it's the only thing we had here to get it off the trailer but i do not like that thing uh I don't really like the grapple on it too well. So, this is going to be fun. What I'm going to do is I got my old Ranger, my Ranger 8 here. I'm going to weld it on there. And uh, I got me a little spray gun. I'm going to paint it. I didn't know that it wasn't going to be painted. Uh, I just want to put something on there to kind of help from rusting and whatnot. And I got me some yellow paint. I hope it's going to be close to the cat yellow but if not i guess it'll be okay but let me get that dozer pulled around here and uh see how well i'm gonna get this thing lined up on it oh y'all how many tries is it gonna take me to uh get this thing up on here y'all place your bets now Well, that was easier than I thought. I think I'm going to have to drop the blade down and uh, I'm going to check my left to right. So let me get this thing figured out uh, where it's supposed to be and we'll go from there. So I want you to look how close I got. And all I did was just pick it up and uh, just raise it up where these were getting almost flush. I'm going to go off that right there. So that's 32 and an eighth, roughly. Go off this other, other side and that's 32 and a quarter. So an eighth inch off. All I'm gonna do is take my big hammer and bump it right here that way a little bit. And I've already got one little problem. The bracket there that the pin goes in on this one, the hole isn't cut good enough for the pin to go through it so i'm gonna have to figure out how to i don't really have nothing other than a dremel and that's probably gonna take all day but that right there should be bad close I'm trying to figure out if it's hitting kind of where i need it to uh, it's about as good as it's gonna get i guess I would like a little bit more meat to weld on that the brackets but it should be enough maybe i may put something across some metal across here if i got some just to kind of hold that but that should be i may pick the blade up some more mm, that should be about right yeah i may pick the blade up well, no. That's going to be right, right there. All right. Let me uh, figure out what I'm going to do about this bracket over here. All right, I got it where I want it. Luckily, that didn't take long. I just dremeled out kind of where the hole didn't uh, have a clean cut on one side. But put that in there so I don't lose it. Uh, what I'm going to do... Of course i watched let's dig whenever they installed his uh, root rake and they notched out the blade instead of the uh brackets so i'm gonna mark this because i think this is good i'm gonna leave me enough little gap in there 
I need to get them more even, but uh, probably leave me about a quarter inch gap on each side. Uh, if I'm within a eighth of an inch right now or whatever it is, I'm not even gonna worry about knocking the blade over because I'll have enough gap in here. I gotta make sure that I can have enough gap to weld in between the brackets on the back side. But uh, I'm gonna mark them where they're at get the blade out of the way or get the root rake out of the way knock the paint off and i talked to the cat dealer a buddy of mine that works there i asked him about disconnecting the ecm on here if i'm going to weld on it he said all you need to do is turn the disconnect switch off but make sure you do that so that's what i'm going to do and well, I'll do that once I get everything squared away and get ready to weld, but I think we're uh, we're getting there. It's going a lot better than I expected, but we ain't done yet. Y'all, I thought I was going to take this thing and, and lay it forward on these uh, saw horses here. That son of a gun is heavy. I couldn't even get it to break over to pull it, so I guess what I'm going to do is I'm just going to back the dozer straight up gouge out my uh, blade there i got a lot to take out i wish i had a torch but i don't uh i really didn't want to move the dozer but i don't really have a choice Okay, I got that notched out. That's looking looking good, sitting on there. Uh, plenty flush enough. All right, so now what I need to do, what's gonna be hard is getting this thing where it needs to be because the blade keeps floating down a little bit after it's been uh, shut down for a minute. Uh, I guess I could leave it running until I get these things. I've got to get those marks because if they're if they're forward or back too much, then it it changes my uh, distance between this and the top of the blade. And I'm pretty sure this should probably be resting on the top of the blade here. I would think so anyway. All right, well, let me. Uh, I still got to get this side notched out real quick. And I had these on here wrong earlier, and I got them flipped around. I'm going to put that beveled edge up. Uh, yeah, that will give me more meat to weld to also. All right, one more side to notch out. All right, I think I finally got it in place. That was a chore by myself. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to grind off where I'm going to weld. I'm going to... I got a jack under the blade, so maybe it won't drift down. But uh, I'm gonna turn the, I'm gonna get everything grinded. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the switch off before I forget. When you do cut the key off after it's been running, it tells you to wait. And this little orange light will be on, but when it goes off, you can disconnect the power. Uh, and that just, it's just purging out your death. Uh, system whatever all right let me get this paint ground off here and I think it's sitting as close as I can get it by myself um, so I think it's gonna be it's gonna be just fine so let me get the paint ground off okay I'm ready to make my first tack anyway the jack is really helping i can i can let up or let down on the blade there one thing i gotta do real quick and i just remembered it i'm gonna take these in there and bevel grind me a bevel in that so i can get some better penetration ah, i get ready to start welding and i remember i gotta do something else we we almost there all right so what i did is i put me a bevel on each side and then on the back side and 
I got this one back in place kind of where I want it. Well, I thought I did. I need to I need to pick up on the blade just a little bit more. It's amazing how much this blade drifts. No, I don't. I need to let down on it. Time out. Okay, now I got it where I want it. So let me get the welder fired up. And now let's get the welding. Or I'm going to tack this in place. difficult at the angle I was at everything kind of being in the way but you can see my that goes in there pretty easy so that should be good I got it tacked good enough nothing should should move uh, this thing right here is right in the way uh, another thing trying to get my welder adjusted I had me a test piece right there but uh, I was burning just a little too hot to begin with but what I'm probably going to do, well, I got to make sure I get enough penetration for one thing. But uh, now I need to jump over to the other side because what I'm going to do is get all this tacked together and then back the dozer back out so I don't have to deal, work around the root rake and stuff. I just need to make it easy as possible on me. So let me get the other side in there. All right, I got this side uh, kind of where I need it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tack this one on and I'll square this one up because it's hard to do both of them at the same time. Uh, that's that's where I need it. It moves in and out pretty good. So let me tack this one real quick and then we'll go to the next one. got that side tacked in and uh, should have no problems getting the pin in what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these pins out I'll have to take the jack around to the other side and get it get that side out Then I'm gonna back the dozer up and uh, weld these in well y'all on the bright side the dozer didn't didn't get burnt up see there's the orange light we need to wait for that to go out uh, before you kill the power. There it went. All right, let's uh, get to burning some rods.
Well, y'all, I think I finally got her welded. <clears throat> Whew, I'm about sick of welding. It don't look the prettiest. I'm gonna stand way back here so y'all can't see my welds. <laughs> uh, this is some of that uh, TriStar welding services. That was that was pretty tricky trying to get in there. And, uh, I think I figured out it got got a lot better when I was nearly done. But I think my welder has been sitting for months and months, and I think I finally got all the bad gas out of it. But I made about three passes on it. If that breaks, then oh well. I'm still going to. I got some really thick uh, angle iron right there. I'm going to weld me a strip across the top of it right there. And uh, that should give me a place to mount my GoPro too. But, I might have to go quote a job. So, maybe I won't run out of daylight. Alright, I got this thing set up. Uh, got the jack behind it, holding it up. Maybe it won't fall on me. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to primer it real quick with them. Uh, rust-oleum primer and then we are going to throw some color to this bad dude and I want to paint this I don't care if it's how close of a yellow it is to the dozer but on the dozer what's going to be on the dozer if I don't like this yellow I may go try to find actual cat yellow tomorrow because I know I'm not going to get this thing painted uh, tonight it's just about I'm just about out of daylight. I bought this little uh, Husky paint gun from uh, Home Depot. So let me get this thing uh, together real quick and start throwing some paint on here. Y'all, I don't claim to be a professional painter or welder. What y'all know my style? I'm gonna do it yourself. I need to adjust my gun. All right, I think I got it a little bit better. Unfortunately, I'm out of time. Sun's going down and that ain't gonna dry fast enough, so. I don't know what else I can paint around here that's brown. All right, so it's the next morning. This thing looks, looks pretty good. I ain't gonna worry about painting way down there at the tips. Uh, that's just gonna get scratched off anyway. Uh, seems to have, uh, went on pretty well looks pretty well even coated anyway i'm going to get this thing fired up and moved up here it's a little cool this morning i kind of want it to warm up some before i start painting on this again but i'm gonna get i'm gonna get all this kind of cleaned up get it ready what i may go ahead and do is get these primered and then uh because they got to be primered anyway 
and then I'm going to put some yellow paint on that and kind of see how well it may match here. And then if I need to go get some more paint, I will. Uh, but that's where it's kind of cool this morning. Uh, really wish it would hurry up and warm on up so I can get this thing done. But so far, I think it's looking pretty good. All right, so I went ahead and I welded me two brackets on here to kind of help help a little bit anyway uh, and I almost made a boo-boo I welded a little I tacked this one on and then I realized that I didn't turn the disconnect off on the dozer uh, but luckily it didn't it didn't do anything uh, I think being being grounded so close to where I'm working uh, would help with that in case you did forget but don't be dumb like me and forget just got in too big of a hurry but i got everything uh cleaned up the best i could and now i'm going to put some primer on these parts and hope i don't get overspray all over the dozer that that spray gun it ain't worth the crap i wouldn't buy that again uh, but let me let me throw some color on here I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some mineral spirits and wipe off some of the excess I got over here. All right, I got it clean the best I could. It's hard to get up in there, but I got all the overspray off this and on the blade there. But all right, let me go do the next one real quick. All right, so I'm not so sure about this paint. It looks a little bit too yellow, but then again, it may dry. It may dry a little darker and plus being on top of that brown uh i went ahead and sprayed out the rest of my can on that thing so i'm kind of waiting on it to finish drying and then uh we're gonna paint her yellow So I got this thing painted. I'm not really crazy about the color. It looks a little brighter than the dozer. I'm gonna pull that dozer up a little closer. And uh, I'm probably just gonna go try to find some different paint to put on the dozer so it don't look just really stupid. All right, I just got back from the cat dealer and they got me some uh, true cat yellow paint. Let me get set up right here and see what this stuff looks like. I'm kind of glad to have this uh, this uh, spray can. Other than that piece of junk, uh, other spray gun. I'm gonna control it better, a little better with this thing. Put a lot of coat on it. definitely matches a lot better than that other stuff I don't know how well the camera shows that other yellow but yeah that's gonna look nice gotta touch up the blade there this to get beat off for too long but at least make it look nice for now all right let that Q 
secure a little bit and then uh, give it another coat and then I'll get this other side done. All right, got them painted up. They look good. Touched up the blade there where Rookie scratched the other day. Turned out pretty nice. Look what else I picked up while I was there. I got the side screens to go on. I'll probably just do a separate video on, on installing them if I even do one at all. But yeah, this thing is just about ready to go to work. I'm gonna let that paint dry and get this uh, root rake attached and go down there and push some of them logs around. All right, I got this thing on here. This thing looks good. All right, I'm gonna go set up down here and uh, let's go push some of these logs around. So I just pushed around those pile of logs a little bit. I know it's really no no test, but uh, this thing is ready to go to the job. Other than the screens, I'll have to have me some help here for that. So those screens are pretty heavy. Uh, but let me talk about this root rake a minute. I got it from a man down in Eupora, Mississippi. Um, all you got to do if y'all are interested in one of these is get on Facebook marketplace and uh, just search around Eupora and you'll see him their last name is McGee uh, is really 
seemed like a real good guy uh pretty good to do business with uh this root rake tax and all out the door he brought it halfway to me uh was like 30 like nearly 3700 dollars so i thought that was pretty good you know caterpillar wanted one for uh, around six grand or so something like that and and about this thing uh as far as shipping goes they say the man i'll talk to that brought it to me he said he's he's been all the way to pennsylvania uh delivering these things so i don't think it's i don't think it's out of the question if any of you that are you know a good ways off want one of these and uh if it's worth you know your your money to get it all the way down here uh that is an option um uh, it is it seems really really heavy built i mean that is that's a solid inch and a quarter let me do it this way yeah that's an inch and a quarter thick metal he's got on there you can see the gussets and all uh of course the paint job didn't last long but that was just for photo op uh, i think it's going to be uh pretty awesome just just messing around there a little bit uh and just kind of raking the ground here i can see where this thing is going to be a vital tool in what i do for sure uh, as long as it holds up but i don't see no reason why it won't if anything breaks it'll probably be my welds uh but anyway y'all let me know what you think i know i'm excited to get this thing on the job and i'm sure most of you are excited to see me get it on a job and run sticks through the radiator and bust windows out of it but uh all right i guess y'all keep your eyes open and i'll see you later